Uh, one of the things that I do uh, preach a lot about is having a better relationship with money and wealth. Uh, the African American community, uh, per capita, essentially, uh, does more consumerism than any one community in, the, community in the United States. We spend a lot of money on stuff, perishables. <laughs> Um, and some of that, I believe, is connected to the fact that our lives have been so transient. And so you want to get it while you can get it, you know, um, without the thought of how important legacy really is. But I talk a lot with my congregation about the importance of knowing that what we do as an African proverb, we do for seven generations following us. And we need to think that way well, when we are uh, working on stewardship. So I, I preach sermons that encourage us, first of all, to see our place in the larger community uh, and even those that haven't been born yet. But also it is important uh, to move these ideas of inherent and inherited poverty. We have um, some mantras that we use in our con congregation at giving time. You know, I am not poor, and I'll never be poor. And um, I believe that I'm going to be a lender and not a borrower. And I believe I will live to see my debts paid, and that I'll owe no one. And those kinds of affirmations again and again have a great tendency to change our relationship to poverty. Because when you're born in an atmosphere where you basically feel that poverty is something that you inherited, and you really don't have any choice, then your giving is hindered by that. You keep it. At least if I keep it, at least I still have it. <laughs> but if I don't see myself as impoverished, impoverished in some way, I can release it into the work of God and be fully confident that the God that I share it with is the God that will replenish my ability 